this video is about Franklin Graham uh, coming to Glasgow. He has been preaching in a few of the churches in the city the past few months, but you can see that uh, the last time he was meant to appear, there was some protests, and um, you know Scotland has definitely uh, lost its faith in the Lord in the gospel. And we know that um, Franklin Graham's father, um, Billy, he was greatly criticised for um, meeting the Pope and um, taking part in ec ecumenicalism. But uh, you know, a lot of Protestant believers, you know, got upset about that, certainly, and uh, you know that the Catholic Church doesn't really preach the gospel as such um, very openly. But um, this is not about um, religion, which side you're on, the Catholic, Protestant. This is about Jesus Christ and the gospel, you know, is originated and ends with Jesus Christ. And um, this man has just come out to preach the gospel. As you can see, uh, Glasgow venue has been ordered to pay almost £100,000 in damages to him. The Scottish event campus was ruled by a sheriff to have discriminated against uh, the Billy Graham Evangelist Association, Franklin Graham. Uh, Hydra appearance was scrapped following pressure from the council and religious groups over offensive comments. Religious groups. I'm not entirely sure what religious groups they would be. <coughs> um, imagine they'd be non-Christian. And they're probably progressive leftists. Venue staff had claimed the move was due to security and protest concerns. I'm not even sure if Muslims really... Muslims don't normally get involved in faith issues. I'm, I would be surprised if it was Muslims that would, would be protesting about that. Certainly we've looked at most of the city councils in the UK are being run or heavily affected by Muslim groups. So there could be an undercurrent there, but uh, you, you don't normally see them out there, you know, protesting uh, about faith events. Uh, they say that they're pro-faith, but uh, of course, yeah, live and let live until they get the majority, and then, you know, what happens, it becomes a Shira law country, and you know, we don't want that to happen to the UK, we don't want it, we want it to happen in Scotland. So a lot of Muslims have came out uh, of Sharia law countries because they've been oppressed in some way, or they've been there's a lot of injustices there. There's there's not there's a lot of it's not very settled in these countries in many different ways. But uh, yeah, Mr. Graham, the son of the late evangelist. <coughs> has faced criticism over remarks about homosexuality, Islam and Donald Trump. Okay. Remarks about Donald Trump. He was scheduled to appear at the SEC Hydro 20th of May 2020. That was a while ago. Um, judge's civil hearing at Glasgow Sheriff Court ruled the SEC had breached the Equality Act by not letting Mr. Graham perform. It's taken four years for them to overturn a decision he made, would you believe? Um, so it cost them almost 100000 so they've got to pay that out to cover the expenses. Uh, so this is going to be an evangelical outreach event. Just imagine, yeah, I just listen to him preaching a little bit and he's just preaching from the gospels you know he's just telling people what Jesus did for them on the cross although security and uh, protest concerns I'm, I'm sure I don't know if some of these protesters would be protestants you know that's where we get the word protestant from pr protesters but I don't think a lot of these protesters would be so called protestants you know concerns were discussed by the SEC board found that they were not the sole or main reason for the cancellation, such concerns also were not mentioned at the meeting City of Glasgow Council, which is said to have applied pressure to cancelling and booking. The thing that followed that the decision to cancel was to breach of the Equality Act, in that the event was cancelled 
Well, you, th you think like free speech, you know, um, and freedom of religion, you know, basically people um, quoting history, quoting religious books, um, maybe doctors saying, you know, that a certain lifestyle isn't isn't good for you, you know, that um, people have died, you know, because of certain lifestyles, so it's not conducive, it's, it's, it's not profitable. So even just suggesting that, and that's the truth, so even speaking the truth, um, a lot of governments and city councils don't like the truth, um, but they do like depopulation. Uh, they they kind of love that idea. They love the old de depopulation idea. He continued as follows that the decision was to cancel breach of the Equality Act <laughs> and was cancelled as a commercial response to the views of the objector. For what that means. Somebody somebody protested. Could have been the police. It could have been somebody else. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Police are normally against these type of events. Sheriff McCormack explained the pursuer's right to engage a speaker at the event in for, um, furtherance of a religious f f uh, psycho. What's that? Psychophysical belief? What's he talking about? Psychophysical belief? Would, would that be um, transhumanists or something? Following the judgment, an SEC spokesman we are naturally disappointed. <sighs> yeah, I just just hate the gospel, you know. We are currently reviewing the extensive documentation to determine any further action is required. Mr. Graham described the ruling as a clear victory for freedom of speech and religion in the UK. Oh, it's taken four years. Now that this case was never about financial remedies, it was about the preservation of religious freedom in the UK. The court heard the Scottish Green Party co-leader Patrick Harvey had lobbied by email for the event to be cancelled, the Green Party. I'm not really sure what it, environmental people were meant to be green, envi environment. So how how is preaching the gospel bad for the environment again? It's just little political undertones there that I don't we don't understand. Reverend Brian Kerr, a Church of Scotland minister in Lanark, also launched a petition to pressure the SEC to rethink Mr. Graham's appearance. So there you go. So as a Protestant uh, and I and I've come across this personally before in the workplace. Um specifically Protestant Church of Scotland ministers coming against the word of God coming against people who want to share the gospel, learn about Jesus Christ, salvation, the Holy Spirit, and they don't want that in the Church of Scotland, apparently. Back by Glasgow LGBT Interfaith Network, it said Mr. Graham's views were not mainstream. <laughs> well, that's that's debatable, and did not sit comfortably with many Christians in Scotland. So, apparently, you know, when the LGBT community are, are, st are still not mainstream. But they, but when they were, you know, even less support than they had, you know, 10, 20 years ago. So does that mean if you're not mainstream, you shouldn't be heard? So that means that you should just cancel LGBT completely then, if, if that's the case, if that's the logic that's been used. I doubt they would use that logic on themselves. Um, well, there we go. That's the article. And uh, no, nobody's, you know, I... I as far as I understand, Franklin Graham is not calling for the death penalty for people who practice uh, gay marriage and stuff like that. He's not calling for the death penalty for them. Um, he's just preaching the gospel to them. Um, and the Bible does talk about um, sin and uh, breaking the commandments is called sin. And a lot of Christians are guilty of sin as well in the church, um, which don't. You know, I'm not really talking about physical relationships here. I'm talking about also spiritual things. You know, the, the Ten Commandments and so on. A lot of churches are actually guilty every week in breaking those as well. So does that mean that there should be hate laws against people? You know, not keeping the commandments. I mean, that that that's just mindless. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. These people do not make sense. They're anti-free speech, anti-freedom, and uh, anti-common sense, anti-truth. So we, you know, if if you're a human being, 
you know, we, we just got to fight for the right to uh, practice free speech, you know. I think that's the most important thing to learn from this.